What if the dinosaurs hadn't died out 66 million years ago? The most mass extinction in history happened on our planet 66 million years ago. After a collision with a giant asteroid, the planet was shaken by a series of natural disasters, which led to the disappearance of some of the most mysterious and interesting creatures, dinosaurs. Many scientists are trying to make assumptions about the possibility of evolution if this extinction had not happened. It's hard enough to imagine how prehistoric pangolins would change over time in this case. It's hard enough to imagine how prehistoric pangolins would change over time in this case. It's even more difficult to understand would take mammals their current place at the top of the food chain and a species like man would appear. The answer to the first question may have been given to the Scottish scientist Dougal Dixon, who published a book in 1988 in which he tried to predict possible options for the evolution of many species of dinosaurs. The author presented the descendants of some living creatures from the age of dinosaurs in a rather peculiar way and gave them interesting names. But all his assumptions have scientifically based arguments. Almost all creatures invented by this guy have analogs in the modern animal kingdom. The names of these animals are related more to their appearance and manner of behavior. For example, in South America, it would be possible for a small flock of predators to appear, the name of which can be translated into Russian as Tezakazu. The scientist also suggested that a weaver could live on the territory of modern Australia. It was supposed to become a descendant of small theropods, which would switch to nutrition by straining water and catching small mollusks and crustaceans in it. The principle of nutrition would also determine the appearance of this creature. It's likely that the weaver would be like a flamingo. The most interesting animal could be a large predator named Gourmet. He could become a descendant of a Tyrannosaurus or other large theropod. Dougal Dixon suggested that the forelimbs which T-Rex practically did not use already at the end of the real age of dinosaurs, would disappear completely in the process of evolution. The scientists also suggested that for faster ingestion of prey, the jaws of this creature will become elastic, like modern snakes. Some species of dinosaurs would try to populate the seas and oceans. In the history of the animal world, there are enough examples of such development. The ancestors of modern whales, seals, manatees returned back from land to the seas. It is the truth, the Cretaceous seas were inhabited by quite formidable predators such as giant sharks, saltwater crocodiles, plesiosaurs, mosasaurs, and ichthyosaurs. But it is quite possible that some species of dinosaurs could succeed. Many dinosaur researchers agree that the appearance of flowering plants at the end of the Cretaceous period led to the appearance of small dinosaurs living in trees and feeding on fruit and leaves. If they survived a meteorite fall, they could take up the entire ecological niche which is occupied by primates now. Therefore, monkeys would be forced to develop in another way or not appear at all. In this case, the appearance of a man, at least as we know it, would be a big question. Of course, raptors that have survived to our times would not resemble their giant ancestors from the age of dinosaurs. Most likely, they would significantly reduce in size and develop new survival mechanisms, adapting to changes in climate, water, and air composition, the appearance of new species of plants and animals. But the fate of mammals in the event of the survival of dinosaurs would be unenviable. The ancestors of the planet's modern hosts live side by side with dinosaurs for about 166 million years, but were never able to come out from their shadow. Giant raptors died out just 66 million years ago. By evolutionary standards, this is not such a significant time to change the situation in favor of creatures that for a longer time could not displace dinosaurs from any major life niches. But if we assume that the planet and all life on it after the end of the Cretaceous period began to develop in parallel with the remaining dinosaurs in the same way as it happened after their extinction, it can be even assumed that the first people appeared in the same way as in the history we know, but lived simultaneously with the descendants of dinosaurs. 
Some scientists suggest that the coexistence of real animals on two continents formed after the division of the supercontinent in Gondwana and Laurasia can be considered as a model of mammalian and dinosaur coexistence. These continents diverged at the moment when the first placental mammals began to appear on the planet. But none of them managed to get into Laurasia. At that time, both continents were inhabited by various species of birds, including giant flightless predators, reptiles, and amphibians prospered on Earth. In the Gondwana territory, placental mammals have taken control, and only marsupials remained in Laurasia. The territory of Gondwana included modern Australia and South America. It is known that on these continents, marsupials could not make up serious competition for crocodiles, large monitor lizards, and birds of prey. And in the territories that were part of Laurasia, mammals have risen to the very top of the food pyramid. Based on this data, it may well be assumed that surviving dinosaurs would dominate one continent and lose the evolutionary race on another. It is possible that with the further drift of continental plates, these two worlds would begin to collide in different parts of the planet, and the descendants of dinosaurs would gradually give up their positions. But even now, there is a continent where mammals have not been able to seriously develop. Therefore, surviving dinosaurs could live in Australia and feel quite comfortable there in our time. Given their greater adaptability and more efficient mode of movement, Dinosaurs here could greatly squeeze crocodiles and giant monitor lizards. You've watched another video of the Dinosaur Age channel. Rate our video, like, or comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new interesting videos of Age of Dinosaurs.